In this Olive video editing tutorial I will show you how to crossfade video and audio clips. I've assumed you have some knowledge of editing in Olive. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay well I've brought a few clips into the browser, project browser here. Um, and I've actually converted these to proxy clips as well, not that you'll be that interested in that. Um, so what I'm going to do is also it, it pays to actually edit your clips. Um, I find that um, when I'm doing crossfades and that it just uses up less resources on your computer. But anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this clip here into the timeline and got a very basic video clip playing quickly because it's a proxy clip okay so now to crossfade what you need to do is drag your next clip into the timeline and what you want to do is make sure that it goes over and below your first clip doesn't matter at present what sort of position you put it in. This is where editing it is a good idea first of all. So at present we've got this effect here. There's no crossfade. So double click in this instance your second video and it'll bring up these options here in the effects tab. And what you're looking for, where it says video effects, there's a little box with a plus sign. Left click this, and then left click, cross dissolve. Now what this does is give you a uh, cross dissolve into this one and then back out again. And that's all you need. Now you've got something like one second, which isn't really long enough, I don't think, on the in and out. So if you hold your pointer over the length, hold down the left mouse button, you can gradually increase the length. So I'm going to take this up to about two seconds, give or take. And I'll do the same for this one here. You can choose what you want. Incidentally, you can also if you want to be really fussy you can double click it and you can type in your value here okay now this is giving me a two seconds so I'm going to just drag this over and it should just roughly snap in line when you drag it over so what I should have now is a crossfade of the video so I'm going to just bring another clip in and this time I want it to go on the inside until it snaps up here. So what we should have now is a crossfade. Incidentally, if say at any point I want, let's say this was the very end clip, so this was down here say, what you can do is, if I just click it, you've got the length here, so this says the opening, so if I wanted to not have it, um, say this was on this clip here, all I would do is where it says the closing length, just knock it down to zero and it won't have any uh, fade outs on this end here, if I'd actually place some on there. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is crossfade the audio. So I'm going to double click the first one. So this is this one here. And then next to audio effects, I'm going to left click on the little box add audio transition. And I think the one I want is exponential fade it is. What you'll see is there's a 
the lines will show you which direction you're fading in and out from so exponential fades out and this is an interesting point here I don't want it on this end here so what I'm going to do is we got the length at the opening so I'm going to just knock this down to, to nothing so there's nothing at the beginning and then on the length at the closing I'm going to take it up so it's fading out from the same point as this video fades in I'm going to double click this one I'm going to left click on that button next to audio effects and this time I'm going to left click on linear fade and where it's where I've got the box for sometimes it's a bit difficult to see what you're looking at okay length for the opening I'm going to need to find it a minute where is they are length for the opening I'm going to drag this up so that it matches to the end and again length for the clothing closing I'm going to bring this that direction so as you can see you've got your arrows it clearly shows you it's going from nothing upwards and then this one's from everything downwards so you're going to get a cross in the middle you can change these if you cut your audio so that it fades to nothing then fades back in but I'm not going to go to that trouble and again on this one double click it bring in an audio and this one's going to have to go exponential because it's going to need to fade in and then the length at the opening I'll take it up to match the end of the second clip and because I don't want any audio fade on this end length at closing I'll take down to nothing what you should have now is a video hopefully that will cross over both audio and video hopefully that's helped somebody I shan't go into rendering because like I said at the beginning um, I've assumed you've got some understanding of editing in Olive so as I said I won't go into anything else hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers